We've seen how all of the elements on a web page are inside a box, and that doesn't matter whether you're talking about a headline, a menu item, a bit of text, or an image, it's all they're all inside boxes. And the float property gives us the power to float any box we like, left or right. Now, let me show you what I mean. At the moment, I've got this simple HTML, part of it we set up in the previous tutorial. We've got a div of ID container one. Okay, and that contains an H1 header and a paragraph. And then I've just put some HTML underneath outside of the div. So what we get is the box on the top, that's controlled by the div, and the rest of the web page underneath. Let's try floating the div to the left. Okay, now if we go full screen again, you can see that the div has floated to the left and we've got text flowing around on the right. The rest of the web page is around is flowing around the floated object, floated box. Now let's just decrease the width of that box a little bit. We'll decrease it to 450 pixels and let's have a look at it again. Okay, now we've got the floated box on the left and we've got the text on the right. What you might find is when you float a box like this, you want to have a little bit more white space between the box and the rest of the web page. Now, from what we did on the CSS box model, you should know how to do that because around the outside of this visible border is something called the margin and we can increase the margin. Let me just drag this over a little bit so we can see what happens. Okay, now at the moment, for this particular div, we've got the margin set at 10. So that's 10 at the top, 10 at the right, 10 at the bottom and 10 at the left. All I want to do is increase the, the right hand margin. Now, if you remember, we can do that by specifying top, right, bottom, left. So now we've specified four margins, which are all the same. So that's exactly the same as saying just margin 10 pixels, but we've got now different values for each one. And we want to change the right hand one, let's say to 30, to increase the white space between the box and the text. There you go. Now. We could also float, let me just decrease this because the size of the screen, let me decrease it to 300. The other thing we can do is we can float it right. So let's do that. And you see now that the box is floating to the right. The one thing you might then want to do, let me just add a bit more text there so you can see it, is add a little bit more white space around the box because we've now got only 10 pixels between the box and this side because we're now floating on the right hand side. So it's the left side or the fourth value that needs to change to increase that margin. Now you can see the text is flowing around that a little better. You could also decide, well, I want to have a bit more space underneath. Remember the first value, second value, third value. Let's say we want a 50 pixel margin on the bottom. And you see now the text moves away, giving us more white space. So that's the float property. If you want to float a box, it's just simply float colon right or float colon left. And then you might just need to change the margin slightly to modify the amount of white space that's found around the box.